And on our local headlines tonight, a Yuma church has been selected by the governor's office to resume church services back inside of their buildings. This morning, grand reopening services were made possible with the help of Arizona Representative Tim Dunn. Cody Lee joins us live with the story. Cody? Good evening, April. After six weeks of drive-in and online church, worship services started back up today from inside the Champion Church building. The worshipers at Champion Church in Yuma are happy to be back in their sanctuary this morning. When we got the word that we could actually come back inside, like, Everybody was just like we were jumping up and down. We were just we were so incredibly thankful in a letter from the Office of Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich summarizing quote attendance at a church service is an essential activity end quote under an executive order put into place by Governor Doug Ducey. The, the great uh, advantage that we have is that uh, State Representative Tim Dunn is also a board member here at Champion Church, and he's been part of this church and a founding member of this church for the last 16 years. Representative Tim Dunn supporting the reopening of places of worship. I told the church last Sunday, I said, you know, with businesses starting to open up, it's time to get, you know, to, to, to really push the governor and get, you know, clearance on, on even though they said churches aren't closed, because it's bigger than groups of 10, how could we could do that? Despite not being six feet apart, they are following certain measures, even though they are not required to. Everyone who attends service will need to wear a mask and should practice social distancing. These are all things that we do from the moment you pull up. If people don't have masks, um, we have some that we can give them. The church also providing hand sanitizer at the doors. We don't have to do these things specifically. The, they weren't in the rules, but we've chosen to do them because in an abundance of caution, we want to be a good example. The senior pastor is grateful for the support from their congregation. We're just really, really blessed that we have this opportunity to open back up to the community and be everything God has called us to be, to just really uplift people's spirits, bring hope, that's what it's truly all about. And as far as capacity goes, the 10 a.m. service this morning did not have any empty seats. Church services will continue from inside the building next Sunday. Reporting from home, I'm Cody Lee, News 11. Well, thank you for that, Cody.